Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you will enjoy the video and as always, thank you so much for watching. This is just something I've been thinking about and I couldn't even wait till I got home to record it. This is my theory. Women, when we date, right? We have to go through a lot of men to find a good one. So when we do find a good one, we lock them in. Like we're like, that's it, I'm gonna stop looking. This is the person that I want. Men on the other hand, have a surplus of women to choose from. Again, just my experience, I think that there's a lot of really hot quality women and a lot of trash men. That could just be an age thing. I'm 26, so I know a lot of these guys are still immature and not looking to settle down. Men will like date women, right? Find a really, really good one. She's a catch, like checks off all of his boxes, wifey material, but they still won't lock her down. They don't have a concept of stop searching because they're still horny and they still wanna keep their options open. So they find this really good hot girl and then she's ready to settle down and he's like, no, I'm gonna keep looking. Why? For what? <laughs> eventually when he's tired of looking so he like throws away that really like good perfect girl is still dating going through all these women sleeping with women right and then he just gets tired one day of searching <laughs> and then the girl that he's like with at that time is the one that he ends up dating or wifing or whatever I swear it. of course there are some exceptions there are some really smart mature men who know a good thing that's in front of them I just think a lot of these men are too immature to realize a good thing that's in front of them or at least not smart enough to conceptualize the idea of the grass is not always greener on the other side well you all heard the lady there's a lot of high quality women out there and a lot of trash men that's her go-to excuse to say that it's fine if you have a high body count like she said in the beginning and then the entire point of her video is that it's just enough for you to be hot and you're gonna become a wife, gonna find a husband or whatever. I'm sorry to let you know, princess, that's not the case. First of all, you are not that hot. You are hot, but not that hot. And second of all, if that was true, all of the hot women would have been married by now. And that's not really the case, is it? Oh yeah, and as a side note, I know you're only 26, but that's still no excuse for you not to know how to wear your seatbelt. So here's the difference between American men and European or Latin American Middle Eastern men. The reason why American men are not really pursuing the way that they're supposed to is one, because they've been spoiled already. If you don't know this already, Latin men, European men, and Middle Eastern men all have one thing in common. They're actually men. They pursue women and they are very persistent, they're consistent, and they essentially do all of the work in the pursuit and they know how to court women. Why is it that they do this right from the jump? Because in their European, Middle Eastern and Latin society, women have not spoiled them the way that women here have spoiled men. Okay, I'm gonna pause this clip and make my points. I know you're all gonna hate me for it, but it's just this clip, so bear with me. You sweetheart have no idea what you're talking about. The only thing that you got right is that we are men. And the American men, they are still men. The only difference is in pursuing women is that we do it because the quality of our women. Do we have busy women? Women that are for the streets? Absolutely, every country has them. But the majority of our women are amazing women that are still worth pursuing. That's the difference between our women and American women. Women make them work hard for their time, their availability. They require more of men and that's why these men know that if they don't know how to pursue and court a woman accordingly, they're not getting any. So in conclusion, the reason why American men are weenies and they don't know how to pursue women is because women here have let them get away with doing the bare minimum and that's not okay. And that's just a record scratch. By not requiring more of men and not expecting more of them and making them work for it, you're essentially making them lazy. You're creating more boys and you're putting yourself in situations where you end up being the one pursuing him and worried about whether he likes you enough. Yeah, so that's gonna be tough luck. Let me mansplay this to you. I'm a Romanian man that makes me a European man, makes me for my American friends a third world country man. That means I can open a door for a woman and she's gonna smile and say thank you. 
I can just have a conversation with someone and she's gonna not yell out misogyny or tell me that I started mansplaining something to her. And if I meet someone new and I'm just gonna take her out on our first date to a coffee shop for just coffee, she's not gonna feel insulted that I did not spend $800 on some fancy restaurant for some fancy dinner. She's just gonna appreciate the fact that we got to know each other, the time that we spent together. If that leads to something more, that's great. If not, we just spend some quality time together. Women in these other cultures, they're not ever doing that. They let men come to them. And if they come correct, then maybe you get a date. And that's a maybe. You're up for consideration. Yeah, so again, you have no idea what you're talking about. Not only that you feel entitled to talk about men in other countries while you live in U.S., but now you feel entitled to talk about women in other countries while you live in U.S. Again, you have no idea what you're talking about. Here, it seems like women will accept the bare minimum. They accept non-dates that are coffee, walking, dates that aren't even requiring much effort, and they accept very subpar behavior. And they're okay if these guys don't talk to them for days on end, suck at communication. They're totally fine with that. And that's how we've given birth to the boy and weenies. You should start requiring more of men. Notice how the guys that'll come correct will stick around and the guys that aren't doing much will just drop like flies when you've given them a challenge. This is the only way to weed out the guys who are serious and the guys that are just trying to play with you. Keep your standards up and don't continue to spoil men. I don't even know what to comment on what she said at the end. Obviously for her, it's spoiling men if she goes on a coffee date. If you're an American man out there, just keep your head up. Don't let anyone shame you into being less than a man. I love you all and just be safe. I have compiled an extensive list of why girls have more fun than guys. First off, I'm holding my boob right now. Yeah. Yeah, well, let me let you know that that's one thing on your list. And also, I could just let you know that later on, I may scratch some balls. So I'm going to have my fun either way. Everyone loves a submissive and easily digestible woman. <laughs> Everyone. And I'm here to teach you how to be one. Yay. Lesson number one. Smile, sweetheart. You're in pain? Smile! A man harass you on the street? Smile! Your husband just f***ed you? <laughs> Smile! After all, that's the whole point of patriarchy. For men to have constant and unrestricted access to our bodies. And it's our duty to be as polite and easygoing as possible to facilitate that access. To never complain or be loud or nasty. Instead, be grateful and smile because this is how you fulfill your mission here by being a reproductive slave. Yay! So submit, breathe, and repeat. Yeah, forget about smiling. I don't care, but for the love of God, blink. You scared the living crap out of me, so just blink like the human species. This is how messed up in the head I am. I actually counted how many times she blinked. 58 seconds and she blinked five times. So, you wanna prove me wrong? You count and let me know if I'm wrong. If Leonardo da Vinci were still alive, he would be the oldest living man at 568 years old. Yeah, very useful information. And if his father was still alive, he would be probably at 588 years old. Is there a point to all of this or is it just to waste each other's time? I just listened to a man compare his lack of understanding of the patriarchy to my lack of understanding of architecture. Yeah, I just started to realize it's just so we can waste each other's time now. Look around you, you see all those buildings? That's architecture. That's real. Hey babes, I'm begging y'all to start making the first move because the worst someone can say is no or that they're not interested um, and you literally set up the situation. You get to control the situation from the start. Yeah, that's all great and everything, but what exactly are you going to control? What situation you're going to control if he's going to say no? 
the only control you're gonna have is to turn around and leave. I'm all up for making the first move. If that's what you want to do, go for it. But you're not gonna control any type of situation if he's gonna say no. I know we're fighting for gender equality and all that, but um, shuffling snow is for men. Women give birth. Uh, we give birth. Y'all can shovel the snow. Yes, absolutely. 100%. But you know what snow I'll be shoveling? For the woman that I'm with. You're the strong and independent one who don't need no men, so you better get that shovel. So I'm super annoyed right now because this light went out. How am I supposed to get to this light? How? Hmm. If only if they invented something for the strong and independent ones to reach high places. Oh well, yeah, they did. Look it up. It's on Google search. When you ask a woman like me, in the beginning, what do you bring to the table? You got about two more minutes left with me. And after that, you ain't never gonna hear from me again. You know why? Because I'm not convincing you into picking me. Me having to sit here and tell you I bring- Where in the hell is this mentality coming from, ladies? Where y'all think that men are just squirrels in your world trying to get a peanut? Who told you that? You must be watching too much of this real world of housewives of this, that, and the other. That's not reality. You're going to find yourself alone. You want men to do all this. Provide, protect, support. All this stuff. You want us to convince you that we're worthy of you, but you don't want to convince us that you're worthy of us. That's because with that mentality, you think that you're the prize. And that we just trying to, oh my God, I, I got to get her. Hold on. I'm a prize too, honey. <laughs> Please believe. So yes, what you bring to the table, just like what I bring to the table. And let's make this table fat. And I can already hear some of you now. Oh, I'll be alone. I'm all good by myself. Yeah, that might be cute and sexy at 20, 30. But wait till your butt get 50, 60, and 70. When you need some help. Stop thinking you don't need nobody. That's a that's this new age mentality that's messing a lot of people up. Look, don't let your young self write a check that your old self can't cash. And there you go. Ten years later, they still don't know the answer to that question. And it's quite easy. The answer is me. What do you bring to the table? Me. I have my moral values. I'm considerate. I'm supportive. And apart from all of that, I'm going to bring you peace. That's it. It's just that easy. But anyway, this is gonna be it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, comment and subscribe. As always, thank you so much for watching. Stay safe and I'll see you all next time.